So how do we draw an angle that's greater than 360 degrees, like 415 in standard position? So we're going to start with uh, this way. First draw your initial side on the positive x-axis. Okay. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to label all the quadrants. Now since this is positive, I'm going to be labeling the quadrants in a counterclockwise direction. Okay. If it were negative, I would be doing the exact opposite. <clears throat> so. Uh, this is 0 degrees, we know that up here it's 90 degrees, then this is 180 degrees, and then this is 270 degrees, and now if we kept going, this would be 360 degrees, right? A full circle, full circle is 360, but now, wait a minute, what happens if I kept going? What happens if I rotated this around and then back around again, right? What would this new measure be? Well, it wouldn't be 90 anymore, <clears throat> it would be 360 plus 90, right? Which would then work out to be 450. Okay, and then I could keep going and I keep keep adding 90 to this, right? This would be 540 over here, blah, 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 blah. But I already noticed that, you know, 415 is going to fall within this range. So watch what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to draw another little line here. It's a little hidden, and here it is, okay? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to start it down at the initial side. And what I have to do is I have to rotate this now in a counterclockwise direction 415 degrees. So watch. Ready? Here we go. 90. 180, 270, 360, maybe 415, right? I can't go all the way to here because that would have been then 450. So maybe it's somewhere over here, okay? Maybe it's somewhere over here. So what I did was we rotated, right? We went around 360 degrees, and then we have to come up a little extra amount, Right, So this angle now that is drawn represents a 415 degree angle. Now to see if you're kind of right in the quadrant here, what we can do is we can take the 415 and we can simply then subtract the 360 from it. And we realize that the angle then in here should be then 55. A little greater than 45 degrees and that's kind of what I tried to show. Okay. Uh, now you wouldn't necessarily write 55 degrees. All right, I'm just trying to say from the x-axis it should be 55 degrees up okay uh, but this this is the angle in standard position it's that simple so you know as you start doing this just keep going around and around and around in a circle and where you stop nobody knows guys thanks for tuning in hopefully that helped if you can help us out subscribe like tell your friends we'll see you soon bye